Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for February 5th through February 11th. Now this may not resonate with you, just take what does and leave the rest. Um, I'm going to get a couple of energy cards from these two oracle decks and then we'll use the, the tarot deck. This is for Pisces. Ooh. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is about communication. Communication. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to talk about things. Let somebody get to know you, okay? And really listen, okay? Oh. Regret. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So many of you are probably regretting not revealing. That could certainly be the case. I mean, that card just flew out. I mean, there's... That's the way it is. Um, so many of you are going through some regrets, be, probably because there was a lack of communication somewhere. And you're being called to communicate at this time. Really, if you are feeling some hurt inside of you, maybe you just need to talk about it. Maybe you need to express yourself. Let's get some of these. I know that I cannot change the past. And, you know, and even though you can't change the past, the future is bright, okay? The future is bright if you are willing to open up, okay? You have to be willing to open up and express yourself to get over these past regrets. Even though you can't change it, the future is open, okay? So just take that as a message. The past is the past. The future is... Oh, what's the word? There's endless opportunities for the future. Yeah, there is a new beginning here. Okay, there's a major new beginning. It's like you've learned something really big. You've learned a huge lesson. And you've learned this lesson because of past regrets. Okay, now this tells me that it's time for you to start your new chapter because you've learned a big lesson. And now it's time to... Um, build a new foundation. Whatever has happened, whatever lesson this was, had a huge effect on you. And now it's time for you to be practical and offer kindness and security in some way to somebody perhaps or to something to bring it to your life. It's time for you to use your inner strength perhaps even to get to know somebody. But it is time to build a new foundation. Okay, it feels like you're at a dead end in a certain area of your life. You're at some kind of, there's a barrier in some area of your life. You may feel like you're robbed or you've been cheated or this is being cheated. I mean, this is, this is lies, cheating, sneaky, uh, no good, rotten. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. So this is, um, this is the card of deceit. So there's a dead end because of some deceit, okay? Um, there could have been that maybe there's some kind of, uh, turning away from something. Maybe that somebody has turned away from their family or turned away from, um, some kind of relationship, something in the home. There's been some kind of turning away from commitment perhaps because this is a foundation maybe there's maybe that's a lesson that you learned because there's some kind of um lack of security lack of stability here that somebody turned away from they didn't accept it and now um and that's these cards are very similar this is the five of swords and this is the seven swords it's like somebody feels like there's been some kind of injustice. There's been a huge conflict. You may be feeling defeated at this time, uh, and and you feel like you've reached a dead end. Like there's like there's a there's a death of a dream of some sort. I mean that's what I keep hearing in my head. But I feel like many of you are looking for a new relationship or a renewal in a relationship. It's like 
there's there's love here to be offered but but somebody lacks self-confidence somebody lacks um appreciation of some sort and somebody may be feeling bitter i'm not sure if it's you but bitter cold-hearted vindictive there you could be dealing with a libra aquarius a gemini pisces cancer scorpio um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like <laughs> for many of you, there's a feeling of I've been cheated, I've been robbed, or, or it could go vice versa. You may be feeling like bitter and cold, like you've reached this dead end and, and now you don't appreciate anything in life. Like things are going downhill real fast because it feels like you feel you may feel like you don't have any money, that you don't have any self confidence anymore. You're not feeling good about yourself. There's been some kind of rejection, perhaps whether it's you rejecting somebody or there's somebody rejecting you. But there's definitely been a lesson learned out of this rejection, which has caused you some regret. It's really interesting. I, I really feel like many of you are have learned something big because I think there's been some kind of altercation with another person. There's been some kind of altercation with another person that has really taken you aback. It has really taken you aback and caused some feuds in your life. I think there's been some feuding going on. And it's made you realize where your security and your stability lies. Okay? And that's what I feel like. I feel like there's been something that has happened that has, has made you realize something. But anyway, we're going to get some more cars. But let me zoom this in before I go any further. I really want to keep those cards in there, but I might not be able to. There we go. I guess that's good. <laughs> anyway, you're being called to have strength, confidence, courage, and discipline. Okay? It's really time to use the force within you to master your emotions and open up. Okay? Open up. Open up and get to know somebody. Reveal how you feel. This is what this means. Reveal how you feel to somebody. Stop holding it in, feeling detached, cold, and bitter. Okay? Look at things from a new light. If you, if you have some love to offer to somebody, it feels like you need to do it. You need to follow your intuition. Um, this is a yes answer. For, so whatever question is going on in your head while I'm giving you this reading, the answer is yes. So just if you have a question, the answer is yes. So if you got to do something or whatever, this is a yes answer. It means you have the resources and you to succeed. This is a very successful card. You guys have learned something so big, so big, that now success is in your future because you've learned a lesson. And this lesson has brought you some regrets. I mean, it is. I feel like it's time to take action. This is take action right now. Okay, many of you have shed some old ways. That's what the lesson was, and that's what I see. Is like, I'm not going to be that person anymore. I'm ready. I'm ready now. And now it's time to don't waste a minute. Take act. Like I said, take action. This is very fast moving, hasty. No fear. Release the fear. Just get moving. This is uh, get on your horse and go. Because if you don't. You are lying to yourself. You're being dishonest to yourself. This is the justice card reversed. If you don't do what your soul is telling you to do, that's your major injustice to yourself. You're not doing the right thing for you. You're not being honest with yourself. Okay? And you're not, you're not fulfilling this karmic debt by not moving forward. You see one hand's pointed up here towards the lesson. One hand's pointed down here towards the karma, the justice system. Okay? What is it? It's time for you to use your resources, your, your voice, your heart, your mind, your body, 
your everything. It's time to use all your resources to do the right thing for you. Otherwise, you will continue to be weighed down. Have no fear. It's time for a new beginning. The past is the past is the past. Okay, that's the death card. When the death card comes up, it means that in death, new life begins. Okay? So something has ended that with both of these cards, something has ended that is bringing you a new beginning. New beginnings as well. So we have endings that bring new beginnings. So I think many of you are shedding old ways. That's what, because this is shedding old ways. So I think many of you are shedding old ways you have learned something big based on some regrets in the past. I think you've been taught a major lesson and now it's time to start a new beginning. Okay, this is also releasing the past. So I think that many of you are really shedding like the old you and, and deciding, okay, I'm going to have the strength, I'm going to have the willpower, I'm going to have the discipline to do the right thing for me. Some of you are, some of you aren't. Because this right here is mirroring this one. But they are, you know, this one's reversed. So some of you are going to do the right thing. And some of you are not. And that's just the way it is. And if you don't, okay, if you don't follow your heart, the karma is going to keep coming at you. Because it's reversed. It's time for you to look at this as a time of renewal. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of wish fulfillment. Okay? This is the star card. It's like you have the ability to fulfill your wishes right now. You have the ability to fulfill your wishes if you would take action and do the right thing. But you're going to have to really make a move. You're going to have to speak up. Speak up. Take the lead. You have to take the lead. Otherwise, you're going to live in this insecure state of mind, okay? And you're going to continue to be insecure in other areas of your life. If you do not do the right thing, which this is reversed, as some of you are not going to do the right thing, this insecurity is going to continue to be in your life. Okay? You need to have no fear. You need to you need to come out of the darkness and see the light. Okay? These people can come over here. They can come over here near the fire, but they're not. They're refusing to see the light. They're refusing to see the warmth. They're refusing to go over here and be with these people when they certainly could and they could go over there and be warm, but they're not. It's your choice. They're choosing to be dishonest with themselves because they're looking over here at this injustice. They're not listening. Somebody here, I think there's some observation going on, even stalking, whether it's you stalking somebody or somebody is stalking you, there's some kind of observation going on where somebody is quite curious about another person and you are probably feeling very um, intense right now. Intense feelings like this is overwhelming. You may be feeling overwhelmingly emotionally emotional at this time because you're being called to be honest with yourself. Again, this is dishonesty, dishonesty, dishonesty. You're being dishonest with yourself about what your heart wants. Your wish fulfillment is not being fulfilled because you're you're pushing it down. You're ignoring. You're ignoring your wishes. It's really, really time for you to spill the beans. Stop keeping the secret. Stop holding it in. Follow your intuition. Okay, you know what this is. You do. I feel like there's a script that has already been written. You know you need to make a move. You need to speak up because it's your happily ever after. It's your wishes. And you just can't do it. 
You can't do it for fear of rejection. You have these, these regrets of the past. You've learned something really, really big. You know it's time to take action, but you have this fear. And I feel like I see this card that says, have no fear, move forward. It's time for a new beginning. You just have to have strength, courage, confidence, discipline, willpower, and the ability to speak up with your, for yourself and reveal your innermost feelings with somebody. So the bond can deepen. Speak up. Reveal the secret that you're hiding within you. You know the truth. Your intuition. Your intuition is spot on. You know. You know. It's time to let go of the past. The past is the past is the past. There's time. There's a chance for a new beginning here. If you would speak up and be honest with yourself. So do I feel like there's new lo new love coming in? No. I feel like many of you are hung up on the past. You're hung up on the past and you can't change it. And I think there's been something in your life that has caused an upheaval. Maybe it's another person that has come into your life and made and taught you a lesson, made you realize that the, you know, your wishes are elsewhere, okay? And so now it's time for you to release this heaviness. It's time for you to do the right thing and have no fear. I see many of you are heading down a new path, a new journey, going through a transformation of shedding the old you. I mean, really, really, really shedding the old you. The past has taught you something huge and you are becoming a new person. So for is new love coming in? I don't think it is for, I mean, maybe it is, but for some of you, but what I see is the answer is no because your past is haunting you and I think that you want to take some action but the fear the fear is there and you are being called to have that ultimate strength to face your fear so Pisces this is what I have February 5th through February 11th Talk to you later.